Oh, look at that. Welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we're going to make a really simple lemon meringue pie. Now, this is really easy. We're going to knock it together really, really quickly. Uh, I'm going to use ready rolled pastry today. You know, I have a fantastic pastry on the site and I'll put a link up here. So if you want to make your own pastry and it's very, very good, uh, but I haven't time today. So I'm going to use ready roll pastry. So let's show you how to do this. This is a really simple recipe. Okay, we have a tin. It's a loose bottom tin just to make it easier for us. And what we're going to do is put that pastry in there. But we need an overlap. We have to have an overlap over the top. Okay, so all we need to do is take that out of there. So, easy as we go, let's easy in the tin. It is simple this, okay? Now I do want an over, overhang, like I say, because we don't blind bake this and it will shrink a little bit, you know? So as it's shrinking in, we need to keep that lip over the top of there. So just work your pastry in. Now like this, because the pastry is narrow, take a bit of pastry and put it on there. We want an overhang lip. Okay, now we want an overhang lip, but we do not want all this overhanging. So we're gonna cut this off. Now, like I say, this is a very, very quick lemon meringue pie. We're not going to make anything complicated. Now, this pastry can be used. Stick it back in the fridge. It's absolutely fine. Okay, that's our pastry in there. Now, that is really easy. That is a simple job. Tim, what we need to do is take a fork and we need to prick it all over, stop it from rising up. So, a million holes in the bottom, it doesn't matter. And then we want to put a little couple of holes around the side as well. We don't want all that coming in. So just turn it round. As we go and then what we need to do we need to take some parchment paper or baking paper whatever you call it and shove that right in down there get it into the corners except it's round and then we're going to take some tin foil and we'll put that in there as well right and we are going to blind bake this, okay? So oven on, 180 degrees. And we need to fill that with either rice or beans or anything. So get our rice in there. And obviously that's going to weight it down as it's cooking. Okay. So let's get that in our preheated oven. And we're going to put it in there for 15 minutes. It goes in for 15 minutes, we're going to take it out, get the rice out of there and the paper and tin foil, and then we're going to put it back in again. Okay, so that's our pastry case there, look. What we need to do is take out our rice and our paper and tin foil out of there. So let's have that out of there. Right, we are going to put this back in the oven, but what we need to do we need to protect the top a little bit. So we're just going to put a little bit of tin foil over the top like that. Because all we're trying to do now is cook out the base a little bit. Oh, it's hot this. Really hot. Okay, so that's going to stop that top from burning. We've got that little bit of a guard around the top of there. You know, there's nothing worse than pastry that has got a really strong taste because it's been burnt. So we just need to get that back in the oven and that's going to go in 
for about eight minutes. Now whilst that's going in there, we need to take a pan, a regular pan, a little bit of heat on, and we want to be going in there with our water, our lemon juice, our sugar, and our corn flour. And then we just need to heat this up till it starts to thicken. Now don't worry about the corn flour, that will all dissolve. This will be our lemon filling. Okay, when it starts to thicken like that, we need to take that off the heat. Let this cool a bit. So you just need to keep stirring it so it cools down. And then we're going to add the eggs, butter and lemon zest, but we can't put that in there yet till it cools down. Because if not, we will have scrambled eggs. Okay, that's our base done, I reckon. There you are. That's got that nice cooking in the bottom. By putting that tinfoil on there, we should have a nice rim that's not overcooked. So all we need to do now is let that cool down. Our lemon mixture, that's cooled down quite sufficient. In with our butter. So get our butter in there. In with our lemon zest. And then our egg yolks. Just give them a little beat round in there. And in it goes. So all we need to do is whisk that in. So what we need to do now, we need to get this to cool down. But we don't want to put a skin on there. So get some plastic wrap or cling film or whatever you call it in your country. And we need to tuck that down on top of there. So get that down on top of our lemon custard and just let that cool. Right, the next stage with our pastry case, we don't want this now. It's done its job by holding it up. All we need to do now is just trim round with a knife and get rid of some of that crust. I mean, it's unsightly. We don't need it. So all we're going to do is come in there to the level of the tin. So that's our pastry tin. Oh, that's our pastry. There's a bit missing there, but not to worry. That's our pastry prepped, ready for our lemon, cooling lemon filling. So what we need to be doing now is taking our cooled filling. Get that off there. And we want to be putting our cool filling in our pie dish. Now we do not want to come all the way up to the top of the pie dish. You know, we need to leave room for our meringue to sit in there. So nice and steady, in it goes. Now that is our lemon filling. And if you look around there, we've got a nice little bit of a lip on where the meringue's going to sit on the top. That is perfect. Okay then for our meringue, we need to be going in our bowl with our egg whites. We want to be going in with just a little splash of water. And I am going to add about a teaspoon of white vinegar because we don't have cream of tartar. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put our whisk on there. We're going to start whisking up our egg whites until we get softish peaks. So nice and steady. Now it will be a bit noisy because obviously it's a mixer. Okay, so we've got fairly soft peaks in there. Now what we need to be doing, we need to be adding our sugar. So get our sugar in there. And the secret ingredient to this is about a tablespoon of corn flour. Now what the corn flour is going to do, 
when it cooks it's going to take all that extra moisture in there and it's going to solidify and it should hold up a lot better and the meringue will not weep so let's get that mixed in there but we're mixing it to stiff peaks this time that looks good enough that is a good meringue for what we need for this lemon meringue so all we need to do is transfer that to our pie base okay so what we need to be doing then we need to be taking this meringue out of here and we want to be dolloping it on there and don't be frightened of dolloping it on you know we want to build up a really big fancy looking meringue on the top of here now what we need to do we need to take the meringue right up to the edge of the pastry it has to touch the pastry the reason for touching the pastry is it needs to stick now if it was inside the pastry case and you bake this it shrinks so you will end up with a ring all the way around now it could shrink in anyway okay now you can stick that in the oven just like that but come on let's put some of these on there let's build up those different peaky levels oh okay we want to be getting this in that oven 180 degrees about 18 20 minutes but keep an eye on it because we don't want it to actually brown up too much on one side we might just have to turn it a little bit in the oven so in we go oh ho, ho. lemon meringue pie made oh look at that absolutely fabulous oh set up nice right all we need to do now is let it cool down let it cool down and we're going to stick it in the fridge. Oh, let's get a slice cut. Oh. Now that is a thing of beauty. Look at that. Come on, come on, just look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Oh. Wow that is absolutely fantastic guys if you like what we're doing don't forget to smash that like and subscribe share with your friends all that kind of stuff catch you in the next video